Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love costumes, cosplay, Halloween, as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank. Maybe even using some items you already have at home. Today's costume is a classic in more ways than one. From the Tim Burton 2007 movie, based on a novel, based on a play, whichever you like best, we're going to be recreating Mrs. Lovett from Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street. Let's get started. This is the costume for Mrs. Lovett. Well, not as it's going to be yet, <laughs> but we're gonna create the Mrs. Lovett costume out of these items. These are the socks that I used for my Oompa Loompa. I bought this little pair of pants, which from the thrift store, they were seven bucks. In my opinion, they should have been cheaper, but whatever. I'm gonna be making bloomers with those. I'm going for Mrs. Lovett-esque. If you have the hair and makeup done right and you're carrying that rolling pin around covered in roaches, they're gonna know who you're trying to be. Just saying. This is a underbust corset that I purchased and I did buy the skirt online. I'm a ghost tour guide. That's what I do for a living, pretty much. So I bought this, and it's a tax write-off for me, so no big deal. <laughs> I got this here. This shirt and this shirt both came from Goodwill. And I'm going to be creating a Mrs. Lovett, a more Mrs. Lovett-looking shirt with that. And of course, got my bag of roaches, a rolling pin, and these are the boots I want because really the boots don't matter much. They're gonna be looking more at the costume itself. I wanted to get like a Victorian boot, but you know, really this channel is not about spending a lot of money on costumes. It's quite the opposite. So if you've got a little boot like this, this will work. It's Victorian enough. So let's get started. Here's our completed Mrs. Lovett costume. I bought this great uh, corset. It's an underbust. I bought it online. Um, I'm going to put down in the description where I bought everything and what I paid for it, how much it cost me to complete. I just spray painted these socks. They turned out great. She has a red striped pantyhose or socks. And that's what we did. We just striped them with some spray paint. No big deal. This is gonna really seal the deal here. You wanna have a rolling pin and I hot glued roaches onto my rolling pin because if you recall in the film, she did have a bit of a roach infestation. I made these bloomers out of a pair of red pants I purchased from the thrift store. They turned out awesome. And then we worked on the shirt together as well. This is, uh, if you type in pirate skirt, they have all this style of skirt, which is basically the style she wore in the film. I actually had already filmed this part of my video and I decided to do a couple things differently. So I am refilming it now. And the skirt was one of the changes that I made. I have a lot of these, so I chose to, to use the black one. And that's it. 
a really easy costume to create. It's makeup time. This is gonna be an easy makeup. Actually, it's it's kind of stupid how easy the makeup is. You you may not even need a makeup tutorial for uh, for Mrs. Lovett. She just has to look tired. Make her look tired, a little road hard and put away wet, and you'll have Mrs. Lovett. That's basically Mrs. Lovett in a nutshell. <laughs> She's lived a rough life. She's been hacking up bodies and making meat pies and in her roach infested bakery and uh, it's been tough. So that's what you kind of want to look like. She just kind of looks beat up. So first I'm gonna just put this on. I'm using Kat Von D foundation here. This is light warm 45. I'm gonna finish my face and then we'll get started. As you can see I did my hair already. This is so easy. I just did sponge curlers overnight, took them out, and I literally teased my hair and pinned it just wherever just to give it the shape that hers kind of had. And, and that's it. Not a whole lot to it. Pretty simple. So first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw in my eyebrows. Just kind of darken them in. And for some reason this isn't showing up very well. I might go black. I might go with black. It'll be darker. Let's see, I'm just going to use a black pencil here. I'm actually not a huge fan of Broadway stuff. I saw Sweeney Todd because Tim Burton, you know, directed the film or whatever. But I thought it was good. I thought it was a really good movie. It was one of his best movies for sure. It was really cool. Johnny Depp and Helena Bonham Carter did a great job, as usual. <laughs> I don't look like Helena Bonham Carter. I'm not trying to look like her. I'm trying to look like Mrs. Lovett. So I'm going to, you know, attempt to look like her, but I'm not really trying to look like her because I can't, I can't look like her. I don't have the same shaped face. She's a lot thinner. We're working with what we have here today and it's going to be fine. We'll be Mrs. Lovett enough. Now they do make a Mrs. Lovett costume, like, you know, the kind you get in a bag, but I, you know, I'm not a fan of those. They're usually very cheaply made and it lasts you like one night. It costs, it's expensive for being real cheaply made. This costume is a costume you can throw together on your own. You really don't need anything special because it's one of those things, they're gonna know you're Mrs. Lovett if you have the rolling pin, you know, the hair done right, if your makeup's done right, they're gonna know what you're trying to do. Uh, everyone's gonna know. So you really don't have to get it perfectly accurate. As long as you're like in an 1800 style and you can throw that together from thrift store items, you really can. The only thing I would suggest getting from Amazon or online for this costume is really the corset. Cause you're not gonna find a decent corset at a thrift store. Unless you have one that has decent corsets. I do not, I don't. I have goodwill to work with and corsets are not one of those things that I would want to buy there. Get you one with uh, metal boning in it. That way it's not folding up on you when you sit down. If you're a little more voluptuous like myself, that's going to help out in the long run. And it'll look beautiful. All right, I'm going to just kind of blend the brow. Just use a Q-tip. Obviously, if you want to do a couple's costume, you could do Mrs. Lovett and Sweeney Todd, right? That would be <laughs> the obvious go-to. I don't see a lot of opportunities for a group costume from Sweeney Todd, but those of you who know the Broadway play better, you might be able to come up with something for a group costume. I'm spending way too much time on my eyebrows right now. Way too much, it's not that important. Really, it's not. I'm gonna put some powder on, and then we're gonna start with our eyes. And I'm gonna be using like an a reddish like almost like a terracotta color and gray for my eyes you really don't want to do black she don't want to look like a raccoon she literally just looks tired she looks tired you know she's pale looking malnourished kind of thing that's really what I got from mrs. Lovett from her character at least the way Tim Burton had her drawn up and if she's making meat pies out of human meat you know, she doesn't have a lot of money to buy that expensive stuff, you know what I mean? But right now I'm gonna go in with my red Ben Nye Cream Pencil on my waterline. 
This is gonna give that real tired look. So I've just got that Ulta palette, that same old one I've been using, belonged to my son. He left it over here, so it's mine now. And I'm going to, it's like a terracotta color. I'm just gonna do that like right around my lids and underneath. Cause it's, it's not red, but it's, it would be what a flesh tone would be if you were just really tired and going in with that on the lids and underneath. And I'm, I don't even care if it's sloppy right now, I'll touch it up later. Um, I'm gonna be going with the gray from my crease all the way up to my brow. We're looking tired already. So we're getting really close to Halloween here. What's everybody gonna be for Halloween? Have you figured it out yet? Let me know in the comments. I wanna see what your ideas are. A lot of my costumes are probably gonna be classic, more classic costumes because I don't watch a lot of movies these days. I don't feel like they make them as good as they used to, you know what I mean? But I just went and watched uh, uh, that Flash movie with my husband because I had to see my favorite Batman, Michael Keaton. So I won't tell you what happens because some of you out there might not have seen it yet, but I think it was a pretty good movie. I feel like the beginning was a bit much. Like it, it was a long movie, you know? It took a long time to get to the point. But other than that, it was, it was a pretty good movie. Like I feel like some of the beginning could have been left out. And it, was, it had a really long introduction. All right, now, I'm gonna go in with a dark gray color. I don't want it to be black, like I said. I think black will be too harsh. So I'm gonna go in with this dark gray color. Really not even that pretty, you know. Just kind of put it on. We are going all the way to the end here with this color. And I'm probably even gonna go over my lid a little bit with it, where I already did that red part. I don't want it to just like a, look like a circle of red, so I'm going to try and kind of blend it together, make it look convincing. See what I mean? I went a little bit and did like a baggy bags under the eyes, you know? We're looking tired. I think it's working out great. I am not going to use eyelashes with her because she's not supposed to look pretty, you know? She's just not a pretty character. She's, well, she is because she's Helena Bonham Carter. So technically, I mean, she's trying not to be pretty, but <laughs> she's pretty anyway. <laughs> but she's not supposed to be pretty. So we're kind of just, I just went right down in there, the whole baggy eyes thing. It's gonna, I think it'll look really good. It just adds to that tired effect. She has really a nude lip. So I have this nude lipstick that I wear sometimes, but I'm gonna powder over it because I don't want it to look like glossy and pretty. So this is kind of more of a mauve anyway. It's not really nude. I don't think I own a nude lipstick. I'm a red lipstick kind of girl, so. It's just gonna mute it. You know, it's gonna mute the the lipstick, it'll actually set it as well, so it'll stay on longer. I do have some mascara. I am gonna wear some mascara. Just no lashes. She's not a lashy girl. Thank goodness. That's our eyes. Super easy. And then we're going to just, I'm just gonna put a little bit of blush. I'm using like a dark brown though, so it doesn't look bright and, and airy. It looks more dark and maybe even a little dirty. <laughs> And I'm gonna use this to also shadow around my neck too. Give me a little bit of a, more of a square shaped face. I really need a new blush brush. I've been using this for years and it's like all crazy looking. I'm gonna have to purchase one. That's pretty much it. That's our makeup. I'm gonna probably tease my hair up a little more. I'm gonna get dressed and we'll take some photos.
all dressed up and ready for photos. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you loved today's costume. This will be a very well-known character if you're going out. Everybody's going to know who you are. So it's, it's a great costume to do. And like I said, so easy and it can be cheap. You know, just depending on how you put it together. Don't go buying them bagged costumes. They're awful. And they're just usually, they don't look that great. Create it yourself. It's going to look awesome. I have faith in you. That does it for today's episode. I'll see you next time.